The Royal Ravers. How Kate and William let their hair down during a night out at a Visa Super Club Pasha, and the Duke called the organizer the next day to tell him he now loved house music. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge went to an Avisa Super Club during a wild trip to the party aisle, it has been revealed. And William was so impressed with the night out that he called up the organizer the next day and told him he'd got him into dance music. Kate and William, both 38, visited the Pasha nightclub and were guests of DJ Eric Morillo, who died this week, and Francisco Ferrer, Pasha's artistic director. The memory was posted by a visa party organizer Tony Truman, who said he was blown away when Prince William rang to thank him. Tony, former partner of EastEnders star Charlie Brooks, revealed the memory on his Instagram account in a tribute to Eric Morillo, who died on Tuesday, just days after being arrested on suspicion of sexual battery. His memory puts their visit in 2008. However the Duke and Duchess are known to have visited the visa in 2006, not long before their infamous split and while William was on a break from military training at Sandhurst. He said Morillo had loved life so much and would be properly missed by all. He then went on, a story just came to me about Eric that I will never forget many moons ago, 12, or so years I think. HRH Prince William came to Avisa and I had the pleasure to help arrange his party plans while on the island with Kate and their entourage. I asked Eric and at Francisco Ferrer for to look after him at Pancho official for Eric's at Subliminal Records night. They obviously done a great job as the next day I get a call from HRH William, like you casually do. And Wills says thank you Tony I was not a fan of house music until last night and your friend Eric was amazing, now I love it. I was blown away, not just by Wills casually calling me, but that Eric had gotten a royal R&B loving posse into house music. According to royal experts, the 2006 trip was one of just a handful where William, then 24, felt able to really let his hair down. Among their group was Pippa. Kate's younger sister, and their brother James, as well as Harry and William's friend Guy Billy. And it was reported that Kate even had to tell William off for his behavior at points during the trip. Author and broadcaster Vicky Warrett claimed last year that Kate thought he was a bit too at ease. Writing for Vanity Fair, she said, interestingly, of the tight-knit royal clique who hit the clubs with increasing regularity, perhaps the most aware of the bad impression they were creating was Middleton. On vacation in 2006, Prince William and Guy Pelly, an old friend in the group, often referred to as the court jester, were careering around on mopeds in front of a rented house in Avisa. According to a source, Middleton came out of the house and, matron-like, told them to stop. She said, anyone could be watching. Go out the back and stop behaving like this. Like Chase and schoolboys, the two did what they were told. William may not have liked it, but Middleton's judgment was almost certainly right. The group, who had rented a villa on the island, were seen on a yacht during their stay, with Pippa and Kate in matching white bikinis. A year later, the Duke and Duchess temporarily split, blaming the pressure of being in the public eye and too much time apart. Sources also said Kate was left humiliated by William's constant partying. But they got back together and three years later announced their engagement and were married in April 2011. Pasha is one of the world's oldest nightclubs, opening in 1973.